If gastric emptying is too slow, food starts to spoil in the stomach, causing inflammation and stomach pain. If left untreated, it can also lead to an enlarged stomach and an increased risk of gastric cancer. That's why we will discuss the five most common signs and symptoms of slow gastric emptying, its causes, potential risks, and treatment. Normally, food remains in the stomach for about three hours. White bread and sugary foods pass through much quicker, in around one to two hours, while fatty meals can take about six hours. If food remains in the stomach beyond this range, it is considered slow gastric emptying, also known as gastroparesis. The first and most common symptom of slow gastric emptying is nausea and vomiting. Because undigested food remains in the stomach for too long, leading to discomfort and the body's attempt to expel the contents. The second most common symptom is feeling full quickly when eating. This happens when a person has already eaten. Even a small amount of food stretches the gastric wall, causing a sense of fullness. Bloating and abdominal pain are also common. When undigested food stays in the stomach, it begins to break down by bacteria, producing gas and leading to bloating. In some cases, people lose their appetite because persistent fullness causes a loss of appetite, and slow gastric emptying increases acid reflux. This is because more food in the stomach means more acid production, which can back up into the esophagus, causing reflux symptoms such as heartburn. The most common cause of slow gastric emptying is diabetes. High blood sugar levels can damage the vagus nerve, which controls the stomach muscles, leading to delayed gastric emptying. Some medications, like antidepressants and weight loss medications like Ozempic, can also cause slow gastric emptying. Additionally, serious neurological diseases like Parkinson's and multiple sclerosis can damage nerves and cause slow gastric emptying. In some cases, it can be idiopathic or of unknown origin. High-fat foods like cheeseburgers, fried chicken, and pizza slow down gastric emptying, as do foods rich in dietary fiber, such as lentils, beans, and oatmeal. Drinking large amounts of water during meals can also dilute the meal and slow down gastric emptying. Slowing gastric emptying is sometimes desired for weight loss. For example, weight loss and diabetic medications like GLP-1 agonists, such as liraglutide and semaglutide, ozempic, slow down gastric emptying to increase fullness and satiety. Supplements like psyllium, glycomannan, and beta-glucan, which is found in oats, can also slow down gastric emptying. All of these are soluble fibers that decrease gastric emptying. To gastroparesis, eat smaller portions but more frequent meals and reduce fat and fiber intake to lessen the stomach's workload. Medications like metoclopramide are commonly used to improve gastric emptying and gastrointestinal motility, especially in gastroparesis associated with diabetes and gastroesophageal reflux disease, good when other treatments are unresponsive. Domperidone is also an effective treatment, it is a dopamine receptor antagonist that works similarly to metoclopramide but does not affect the brain and has fewer side effects. New treatments, such as gastric electrical stimulation, involve implanting a device in the stomach to help stimulate muscle contractions and improve gastric emptying. If gastroparesis is left untreated, it can lead to constant nausea, vomiting, early satiety, and significantly reduced caloric intake, resulting in malnutrition and weight loss over time. This can weaken muscle strength, impair the immune system, and importantly, worsen the quality of life. Frequent vomiting can be life-threatening due to electrolyte loss, potentially causing severe arrhythmias and even death. Prolonged gastroparesis can also cause bazaars, which are solid masses of undigested material that accumulate in the stomach and may require surgery to remove. Additionally, it can cause ulcers in the gastric and esophagus due to inflammatory processes or Mallory-Weiss syndrome due to frequent vomiting.